Hey guys, Jeff Dickinson here. Today I'm showing you a little glimpse, a small smidgen of my collection for my Pittsburgh Steelers. For those who know me, yes, I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, die hard, and um, some of my friends who did come over to my house uh, got a chance to see some of these close up and in person. And then of course, you know, I don't have a lot of space to display things in my new apartment, so I put away a lot of my collection of boxes, and as I'm going through them, I'm like, oh man, you know, I remember this and that. Well, a friend of mine recently asked me, hey, you're a Steelers fan, what kind of Steelers stuff do you have in your collection? Because I know I see a lot of stuff uh, that you wear and, and the ring and all that. So I was like, well, you know what, I'll do a little quick video. Being it's almost football season, God hoping. Um, it's not going to be the same since the weird times we're living in. But let's check out some of my favorite people of the Pittsburgh Steelers that uh, I have collected. We'll start off here with Chuck Knoll. Didn't meet the gentleman. Uh, oh, by the way, these helmets are made by Riddell. They make all the NFL helmets. Um... I did not meet him, but I got his autograph through this place here. Absolute authentic autographs. I got a COA sticker. That's where you go to if you want to check him out. Um, this came highly recommended through my friends. So I was like, okay. Um, and, you know, I mailed off. Well, I sent off for it. Well, I went to the e website and sent off for it, and I got it. And, had this in my collection for many years. Uh, I believe I got this in 2000 and... Yeah, I started getting these around the early 2000s. Um, but there's your COA ID number. Let me show you all around the helmet. Of course, you know, officially licensed by the NFL. I need to get a um, case for him. I... Uh, haven't got around to it, but I need to do that. Because all these other guys right here have nice little cases, so I need to get one for Mr. Noel. Which, again, you know, I met this gentleman, but I didn't. He seemed like a nice guy. I was told through some of the players that I met um, that he was a really good dude. Alright, let's put this aside here. Now, I'm going to do this towards the end here. So I want to talk about these guys. We'll start off here with Mr. Mean Joe Green. Um, went to do a you know little meet and greet. I met him and Terry at the same place. Um, this is done by Gridiron Athletics. Uh, they sponsored him and Mean Joe Green. What I found out was that these guys, they uh, do these things. And of course, you know, you pay for the autograph. Um, then you pay for if you want one on the helmet. And then if you want in the case, you pay for that. So I knew I was going to meet these guys. And I saved up. And when I did, I splurged. And I'm not going to even tell you how much I paid. Because it's, it's crazy money. But it's worth it to me because it's a piece of history to me. Um, let's take a look at the helmet. It's a nice little display case I got here. Let me show you a little bit. And let's open it up. What I do from time to time is I open them up and little dust gets in there, dust them off. There's a closer look at the autograph. Of course, there's where they put the uh, seal weight. Um, there you go. Hopefully you can see that. They put the seal away where it won't disturb the look of the helmet. Riddell, who does these little miniature helmets, these are replications of the original helmet. As you saw a video I did a while back um, of the uh, Darth Vader helmet Riddell did. That's the only non-sports helmet I own by them. Of course, there's your inside. Pretty cool. Well, a while back, I used to have a real helmet and not signed. 
but a buddy of mine offered me some stupid money and I was like, you know what? I need to expand my collection. It's just a basic helmet. He wanted to use it to get signed by one of the Pittsburgh Steelers that he wanted to meet. So I kind of helped him in a way and he helped me. All right. Let's see, there's a, another look here. If you want to pause and take a look at it. I'll leave that like that. Next up, we have Mr. Terry Bradshaw. This guy is a hoot and a holler. <laughs> There's his little COA. Once again, sp sponsored by Gridiron Athletics. And there's a little COA of his. What's cool about these people, they're a little more expensive to get the autograph, but they give you a nice little picture of them signing it. So when you get this, you get a picture of him autographing it for you. That's kind of cool they did. It's kind of like a little a wink and a nod to your experience. Let's open up this case. Give you a better look. He signs this Terry Bradshaw MVP Super Bowl 13 and 14. He's proud of that. I don't blame him. I'll be proud too. That was a hell of a time back then. Oh, and then here's the uh, number. Kind of cool. Let's put this back. Once again, we'll show you the little autograph here. We'll put him over here. Uh oh. Put that like that. All right. I usually don't have these cards out when I'm on this when I display them. It just it's in the special place I keep it. All right, let's talk about Mr. Bill Coward. Let me do this here. I need to raise up a little bit. This guy I was able to meet, and he is super cool, super nice. This is taken from the 2005 Steelers. I did meet him. Uh, during that time and this is you know I just didn't have the money uh, to spend this time around for a helmet for him to sign but he was a coach and I thought what better to have a team photo from 2005 um, it was Ben Roethlisberger he's right here I don't know if you can see that And then there's Mr. Coward. And of course, you know, that was kind of cool. I did enjoy him. And of course, you know, this comes with a COA. This was sponsored by Ballpark Autographs. Um, each person is sponsored by, I guess, uh, you know, place that art, you know, confirms your autograph. They don't take a picture like the other ones, um, but this was just, you know, you meet him, he signs it for you. I thought about having saying, best wishes, Jeff Dickinson. He asked me what I wanted to say. I said, put whatever you feel like. Be, you know, I said, you, you own this photograph and, and sign it however you want to sign it. And he put best wishes, best wishes, <laughs> Bill Cower. Um, he was signing it all, any way you wanted it to, but... I just want him to be him. And of course, you know, let me let you see all the players from 2005. Hopefully you're getting all this. Super cool. Nice guy. Let's put him down over here, and let's talk about my man, Ben Rossensberger. He is one hell of a player. Um, I met him in 2005. Uh, you know, he was... I met him and, and uh, Bill both the same year, but not at the same time. Um, I knew I was going to meet, him, meet you know Ben and Bill in the same month. And this happened... On the 12th of January of 2005. Yes, 
this is his rookie year. Or was 2000? No, 2004 is rookie year. So it's right after his first rookie year. Um, this is really cool. Um, they didn't have a person that sponsored him. It just well, no, they did. Tri-State Productions. So was sponsoring him. Each time you meet these guys, uh, they're sponsored by different people. Let's take him out. Hasten. Yes, I paid extra for, once again, the helmet and the case and the autograph. Big Ben. Ben Roethlisberger. This one here has a little sticker for Adele. It's a little bit... It's this looks like the same type of helmet, kind of. Uh, but it's a different issue, I guess. Big Ben. He's a nice, super cool dude. Smiles a lot, like Bill. Um, you know, all these guys were really friendly and really cool. Uh, it was a pleasure meeting them. All I do here is, since that's not such a fancy, fancy one, I'll put this up here. Well, I'll put this back here. And last but not least, I want to show you something cool. I wear this a lot. I put it back in the box. This is a Pittsburgh Steelers. Let me show you. This is, came from Danbury Mint. And I ordered this. Um, there was a year that they were doing all the NFL teams. The guy who makes the NFL rings um, did this special one-time thing of the Danbury Mint. And you get this with a COA and got your name on there and this is a replica Steelers ring it's a franchise ring it's a uh, plated in 24 karat gold and I got this I can't remember when I got this is in the 2000s uh, when he did this um, 2002 here you go uh, helps me with my memory because <laughs> I don't remember I knew it was in 2000 but 2002 I got this and I wear it every day I put it back in this little case to show you what it looks like and it's a franchise ring it's going to be a little dinged up looking because yes I, I wear it each and every day but it's really cool so guys wrapping up here Pittsburgh Steelers. Really, really cool. Well, guys, hope NFL does happen the way we expect it. And yes, I got my terrible towel. What Steeler fan does not have their terrible towel? <laughs> Alright, guys. You guys, take care. Appreciate you watching the video. Hit the like button. If you thought this was super cool, and especially if you're a Steeler fan, hit that like button. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I appreciate you watching the video, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later, guys.